What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to set up your 100% wireless video surveillance cameras. This is made by Real Link. This is the Argus Pro and the Argus 2 wireless cameras. And when someone says wireless cameras, they usually mean um, the transmission going to the DVR is wireless. Uh, usually with the wireless camera, you would have to find a nearby power source to power the wireless cameras. These are powered by the solar panels. Now actually the solar panels charge the lithium ion batteries that are in these cameras. And you say to yourself, what happens on days that it's cloudy? Like three or four days that there's no sunlight? Well, these cameras, the battery life lasts over a month. So if there's a few days without sunlight, no problem. To set up these cameras, you need Wi-Fi. But after that, you can connect this somewhere in your farm that has no power and no Wi-Fi. For this installation, you're going to need a screwdriver, you're going to need an iOS or Android phone, download the app, and Wi-Fi for setup only. After that, the camera works off the SD card. You could choose one of these three cameras. The Argus 2 is probably the best of these three because it has a lithium battery that lasts over one month per charge, it has better night vision, and it has an outdoor mount and an indoor magnetic mount. And you're also going to need a micro SD card and a solar panel. So let's go ahead and get started with the installation. It's water resistant. Once connected to the Wi-Fi, like a router, it has push notifications to your phone. It's live viewing anytime if you have it connected via Wi-Fi. It has PIR sensors for motion detection and it works great as an intercom system. Make sure you download Real Link app from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Now I'm going to be doing a giveaway on the Argus Pro. So if you're interested in winning this giveaway with the solar panel, only thing you have to do is make sure you're a subscriber and post a comment saying, hey, I'm interested in the Real Link Argus Pro. And tell me the reason why you want it. The micro SD card goes right here. If you need to reset it for any reason, if it's not connecting or working properly, then get a paper clip and push in the paper clip to reset the camera. Now, even though it's weatherproof, you still want this under a soffit or somewhere where it's not completely going to be immersed in rain. Close that up real tight. Make sure no water gets in there. Right here on top is the daylight sensor. This is the camera lens right here, obviously. Below the camera lens is the status LED. And this is the mounting base, which is magnetic. If the status LED is red, that means the Wi-Fi connection is bad. If the LED is blue, then your Wi-Fi connection is good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open it up. And here is the rest outdoor mount. This is the battery pack. They claim this lasts up to four months on a full charge. The 5,200 milliamp hour battery pack. The sign-in um, username is admin and the password is blank. Let's go ahead and slide this on, just like that. Camera has been started up. Please run Real Link app, add the camera, and set it up. Let's go ahead and open up the Real Link app. Yes. Now we're going to add a device. Hit the plus symbol. Allow. Camera has been started up. And Please then run you want to scan the QR the code in the back right here. Up. Right here. And then scan that QR code. All right. So I just scanned it. Now I'm going to connect. Now you want to make sure this is fully charged. So before you get started, fully charge the camera using the USB cable and a power adapter. Power adapter is not included, so you could use a cell phone charger power adapter. Please run Real Link app. I'm gonna type in my password for my wireless router within eight Scan inches. Succeeded. Camera is connecting to your router. Please wait. There we go. Connection to the router succeeded. Now the Log light is blue, so that is a good connection. Now you have to create a login and password. Now from this point on, you wanna name your camera and we're finished. Let's go ahead and see. Oh. So it looks like the camera lens is a wide angle lens. So it picks up everything in the garage. This is a two car garage. Now I turned off the lights. It's completely dark in there and I can pretty much see every object that's in my garage. 
All right, just to give you an idea how dark it is in there, I'm gonna show you. All right, shut the door. This is how dark it is in here. And that camera picks up everything. So this is me right here, standing in front of the camera. And this is what the camera looks like at night. So all your recordings will be on the micro SD card. Otherwise, without the SD card, then you're gonna be basically just using that camera system as a live feed. You just press this button right here. And when you press that button, then this should release. You have to press it pretty hard. Then we're gonna use the sleeve and you might have to pop that out right here. You just, you know, push your finger through it. And then you just slide that in from the bottom first and then the top. And then right here, this is where you screw it on, just like that. And then just plug it in. And then twist this boot on using uh, mounting screws. It comes with an anchor and screws. So we have to pilot the holes. So I'm using a 732. This is a concrete drill bit. Because goes on first the top and then the bottom push it in and it locks in even though there's a weather boot on it which protects it from moisture it'll eventually leak into the camera and destroy the camera so that's why I have this drip loop right here so if the moisture uh, starts to collect on the cable it'll drip at the lowest point right here away from the solar panel and also the camera if you know anyone that may want to use this device as a video surveillance camera system on their farm where they have no power or Wi-Fi or even a baby monitor, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them, help someone out. If you found this video informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you want more how-to videos like this coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech, click on the subscribe link right here or the subscribe button down below. And if you want to check out my other how-to videos, check out this playlist link right here. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.